We've just arrived now in uh, D City. This is a design center in the middle of the desert, kind of somewhere between a design center. There's also some shops here. And it's literally in the middle of the desert as you leave Jerusalem on the way to the Dead Sea. In fact, if I turn around this way, you can just kind of see some of the sand there in the background. Only been open since about last August, so it's still relatively new. So uh, let's see what's on the inside. These are all the stores here. You can see there's a hotel on floor two. Floor one, this is all in Hebrew. And then, uh, so yeah, this place is relatively new, but it uh, feels already quite established. Really nice, kind of an outdoor mall kind of a feel. And uh, elevators here going up to the second floor. And they've got this uh, overpass here as well. So I'm recording this on a Friday, just a few hours before Shabbat. Uh, but this is open for a few more hours here. So I guess it's going to be a new kind of luxury center, shopping center for people in the area. Malay Adumim has kind of emerged as a commuter town almost. People looking to get away from the Jerusalem prices. And on the second floor, you can see it's still kind of a little bit under development. You can probably see me there in the reflection. Um, the second is, going, is more tile stores and things of this nature. This is an escalator leading up to the third floor, but uh, only going downwards at the moment. Recording this on uh, Friday, as I mentioned, so we've just actually had the first significant rainfall, I would say, of the winter here. It's been fairly dry so far. Um, it's very nice. It's a kind of outdoor theme mall, so they've got plenty of places to sit here, and they've got live entertainment, as you can uh, hear behind me, a little band on a stage. Obviously, this place is really intended for uh, design. That's what the D stands for in D City. But it's uh, kind of got that American shopping center feel. They've got a lot of music coming out of outdoor speakers here. Uh, it smells a bit like a hotel and uh, really kind of a high class experience if you're into uh, looking for a place to design your home in Israel. Uh, 35 minutes drive approximately outside of Jerusalem. I'm shooting these videos on the Femi Pam 2 which is a uh, pocket gimbal. Uh, picked it up yesterday and I uh, must say I'm really really liking it so far. Definitely the settings take a little bit of getting used to. Over the DJI Osmo Pocket 2 the battery life is longer. And uh, yeah, so far it's really nice to not have to carry around a full-size gimbal and a camcorder and get some relatively decent quality footage. Very interesting mixture of stores here. This is the uh, Life Height store, cleaning supplies, watching a guy do a demo here to a bunch of uh, interested customers. A little bit further up, there is a uh, coffee shop, Casa Barista. And then their next door neighbor, one store up further, is RGB, real gaming business computer store with nice uh, RGB and other stuff uh, for sale there. Right to come into the uh, centerpiece of the mall here, the food course, Pizza Dot. And uh, probably some stuff is closer given the time. There is a, the pop-up station, looks like some kind of a garden store. So this is the indoor components. So I'm just putting on my mask, so I'm gonna sound a little bit muffled. Jewelry store, quite a high-end place. Basher, which is a well-known cheese shop in the Shuk in Jerusalem. There's a sit-down restaurant here, TV wall. We're gonna come now to a huge, this is actually indoors. You're not gonna, you're not gonna believe this. This is an artificial sky. And to say this place is expansive is an understatement. This is actually kind of massive. This is all indoors. So even if it's a rainy day like today, 
uh, you can sit here and enjoy Mitos, they've got a few brands. So it's kind of incredible to be here. It does not feel like you're just a little bit outside Mali Adumim in Jerusalem in the middle of the desert. They've got another live uh, performer here. And uh, you can just get a feel for the scale of this place. Looks like the second floor isn't fully occupied yet. Uh, but they're doing a very lively trade here. If you can see there's literally dozens of people there sitting out and uh, probably the weekend is their busiest day I'd imagine. Milano Optic is crazy, it's just like going from night to day in a second here. Uh, chocolate shop and uh, Swarovski, so really all the mixture of Israeli brands and uh, big international stores represented here. So it's actually modeled after Piazza San Marco in Venice and that's reflected in the architecture and these uh, outdoor lights or these mimicked outdoor lights under the artificial sky. I think the most interesting uh, shop I've seen here so far is uh, this place called Arak Habox. They've taken Arak, which is a uh, aniseed based spirit, very popular in the Middle East, and uh, put together a few really interesting spirits with different flavors. You can see here they're all flu fruit flavors and they have a very, very wide selection. One is uh, Passiflora, which is passion flower. Um, they've got lemon, they've got red grapefruit flavor, and they've got um, almond arak as well, which is delicious. So these guys are 16% alcohol by volume, and they've got a few different branches in Israel. So I've just picked up uh, one here, and they've got this little stall here in uh, K City. Of course, you have to be 18 or over to buy it, but uh, 70 shekels they're selling these uh, bottles for here. So quite a, quite a discovery. I'm looking forward to trying this at home.